Hi guys, Vex here, and I just woke up, crawled out of bed, turned on my computer, and fired up Audacity. I want to record this and try to get as much detail as I can. Basically, I had a dream, and it was actually a pretty in-depth and detailed dream, and I'm fighting as hard as I can to cling on to every detail I can. But you know when you have a dream, as time goes on, uh, right after you wake up, you quickly start to lose details of it. You lose little bits here and there. Uh, until, you know, maybe an hour's passed, and you can only maybe remember uh, an image or two, and maybe a theme of it. So, this is a pretty strange dream. Uh, it was a dream about a video game that, to my knowledge, does not exist, and Paul Soros Jr. was playing it, and it was basically, I was, I was watching him LP the game. Uh, so I was sitting here dreaming, listening, and he was talking, and I was, apparently I've, I've listened to enough Paul Soros Jr. to be able to have a version of him in my head, uh, narrating a fictional LP about a game that is also fictional. So the game was called uh, Winter Wonderland Link to the Past. I don't know what the Winter Wonderland part is about. I really have no idea. So basically, imagine a hybrid between Zelda and Mario. Uh, the two main parts of the game are a Super Mario World, or maybe I should say Mario 3, uh, either one, style overworld. Only it's really big and really complex. Uh, much larger and more complex than uh, the one in Super Mario World. And then each of the little uh, levels you can go to as you travel on the uh, world map takes you to a, a zone and the gameplay turns into like top-down 2D uh, Zelda gameplay where you're running around and trying to find items that can help you progress and unlock new areas on the overworld. And so Paul Soros Jr. was playing it, and I remember one area he went to, it was like a little puzzle area, and he actually, I don't think he had the right item, but he decided to sequence break, and he actually ran through, ran his character through some fire and took some hearts of damage to get to the other side. And then he went to his uh, inventory and used a mushroom item, which made his character bigger, Mario style. And that let him uh, push rocks around out of the way. And then he was able to do like one of those Zelda rock puzzles and then got to another screen where it was an under an underground river with some docks and on the docks was a uh, an item chest and in it it had a parachute item i have no idea what the parachute would be used for i assume it would make your character be able to jump down cliffs and stuff and hover and not take damage but yeah so that was the dream. Uh, that's about as much as I can claw together and remember. Uh, but I was really intrigued by the idea of this game. So much that I actually wanted to make a video about it. Uh, and just put it out on the internet in case some somebody wants to make a game that's like a... Hey, here's an idea for a game. A hybrid 2D... 2D top-down game with a giant world map from, you know, like Super Mario World style world map uh, with levels that are, you know, play out like Zelda, uh, where you explore and fight enemies and 
find items that help you unlock new areas and progress along the world map. So I suppose it would be kind of like maybe A Link to the Past, only instead of having to run around the world map, the giant world map functions to tie it all together and let you quickly get around once you've already beaten areas. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I guess that's it. And for some reason, Paul Soros Jr. was... I was watching about all this on a, a LP by Paul Soros Jr. And he was sitting there talking about the game as he was playing it. And it was really awesome, actually. I got to, in a dream, I got to watch an LP that doesn't exist about a game that doesn't exist. It was kind of kind of neat. Anyway, I hope you guys don't mind the strange video, but I, I know if I don't immediately uh, talk about everything in this dream, I will forget the details. And it was so unique, I kind of wanted to remember it. Anyway, until next time, take it easy.